Yesterday, my husband and I were visiting with a friend who lives nearby on the Villamora Marina, and I asked her if she'd mind doing an impromptu little expat interview with me, and she graciously agreed. So here's her story. Hi, I'm Terry Coles, the Portugal Correspondent for International Living. Today I'm with my friend Priscilla Montgomery, who lives also in, in Villamora, Portugal, where we live. We're on the beautiful Villamora Marina, which we'll show you pictures of in a little while. Hi, Priscilla. Hi. It's so nice that you're doing this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, you have an interesting expat story. So your expat story began before you moved to Portugal. Why don't you tell us about that? Where did you first move to? Well, my first trip was to Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. I lived there for about a year. Mm -hmm. I decided it just really wasn't the place for me. It's really beautiful, but not very safe. And you are a single woman, so you're doing this as a single. Yes. I which makes it more challenging. <laughs> right. So then after you left Costa Rica, where did you go? Uh, I went back home for maybe a year. And two. home is where? Uh, Dallas, Texas. Uh, and then I decided, oh, I need to go someplace else. So I decided to go to Ambergris Key in Belize. Uh. I lived on the island there for a year. So, then where'd you go after that? Back to Texas? Back to Texas. <laughs> Stayed there for a while. And, um, I don't know, a couple of years later, I went to, uh, at, not Amethyst Key, but Amsterdam, Amsterdam. in the Netherlands. My, uh, my younger son lives there oh. and works there. So, just on a whim, I decided I should move to Europe for a while and no. join them. <laughs> but I didn't really want to live in, in uh, Amsterdam. It's just too cold and wet for mm -hmm. me. So I started looking around at some other countries. I thought, well, maybe Spain. And then I noticed, oh, Portugal's right next to it. I've never been to Portugal. And I started reading, mostly on the forums, a lot of uh, expats mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, could give me a lot of information that helped me really mm -hmm. make a decision because they all talk highly of Portugal. Mm -hmm. So I just moved all by myself. <laughs> wow. And you've been here for how long now? Five years. Five years, huh? Mm -hmm. And you started somewhere else in Portugal before you found Villa you said? I did. I started in Porto Mayo. My son came with me at the onset. And we just drove around and happened on Bill Moore by accident, really. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of fell in love with it and decided, <laughs> this is where I want to live. Yeah, it is a beautiful area, especially with the marina view yes. that you have here. I love it. I really do. <clears throat> now, you're renting this beautiful apartment. It's one bedroom, but it's very spacious, very open and, and spacious. Right. And, and your rent here is how much? Would you uh, like to share that? I pay 1200 a month. Mm -hmm plus bills, mm -hmm. but you can't beat it to be right on the marina. It's really a bargain. Yes, it is a bargain, and this is a very prime area of Villamora, and Villamora is a, yes. a ritzy, a little bit of a ritzy area compared to other parts. <laughs> so, um, let's see. So, what did you do before? You, so, you came from Texas. And what did you do for work back there? Um, I worked for a national defense company. Mm -hmm. And I retired from there. And soon after I left, I decided that I would start my own uh, home staging and decorating business, ah. which I love doing that. And um, I just, I still wanted to do something extra though. And I decided I'd travel. <laughs> so, I had fun. I had fun with the business, but you know, it was for like a year when I decided to go to Costa Rica. Yeah. So I just gave that up and decided I'd travel instead. <laughs> yes, you're quite the world traveler. You've been around. <laughs> a little bit, yes. It's, it's been fun. Yeah. I, I love it. So, so what do you like most about living in Portugal? Oh my gosh. M mainly the sunshine, the warm weather. It's so actually just maybe two or three months out of the whole year does it rain which we do need <laughs> rain but that's why i'm here for the sunshine the warm weather the people are so kind so yes, warm are. and friendly 
and it's very safe here. You feel very I, safe here as a single woman? Yes, I'm very safe here. I can I can walk along the pedestrian area at mm -hmm. night on the beach even mm -hmm. and not be afraid. Great, great. So <laughs> it, and it's the whole country, it's not just here. Yes, so, it is one of the, it's the fourth safest country in the world, so that's yeah. why we're here too. <laughs> yes, it is. And I, it just, um, I don't know, the longer I'm here, of course, the more it feels like home. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> so have there been any challenges or things you don't like about Portugal? Mm -hmm. There's no perfect uh, place to live. <laughs> no, um, I guess the language, of the language. course, is a <laughs> yes. little difficult for me to learn, but so everybody speaks uh, English for mm -hmm. the most part, so it's not that big a challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, the bureaucracy, of course, of, you know, finding out how to do things mm -hmm. and yes. <laughs> uh, the culture much more laid back than of course in the States. Yes, so yes. That, that took a little getting used to but I like it actually you know, especially when you're out to dinner or mm -hmm. lunch you can take your time they don't bother you they <laughs> yes. don't rush you so as a matter of fact you have to ask for your for your bill. <laughs> yes, yes, I found that out too. And I was back in the U.S. recently too, and that really drove me crazy that the wait staff wanted you in and out, and they wanted that yes. table, and we wanted to sit and talk to friends for hours and hours. I know, right? It's, it's really yeah. different, but I like it. I like it. Yeah. And we love it here too. Well, that was a great little interview. It was great to hear your story, and I'm thankful that you shared it with oh, us. Thank you, and I'm so happy that I met you. Me too. <laughs> Thanks. That's her terrace and the beautiful view looking down on the Villamora Marine. Just spectacular views. As the day progressed into an evening, the Villamora Marina filled up with people packed at these restaurants. This is how she enters it from the front. A nice little terracotta walkway. She actually has a street view. This is her spacious living room with the marina views. It looks like it could be a little day bed if she has a guest and she does have a lot of company come to visit. Or she can put a mattress or a temporary bed here. Tastefully decorated. I love the vaulted wood ceilings. The entry into her kitchen. And another view of her living room. And the dining area. And this is her little kitchen with the built-in refrigerator and other appliances. Granite countertops. Very nice. This is one of the bathrooms. Has a slanted ceiling because the way it's built. And this is her bedroom. Quite spacious. The bathroom connected to the, the bedroom is very large. And the complex also has a lovely garden and pool area. And more views of the beautiful marina. If you'd like more information on Portugal, you can click on the link below. Thanks for watching.